Um, so this is my test run of a model Tromp, small, only about six foot head, so maybe like two to four psi if I'm successful. So what I got going here is I got a fake waterfall or water source coming from, you know, faucet running up the hose, going into the coconut half, which is going down the hose into the tank I don't know if there's going to be enough aeration in the water but this is all a test run so anyways what's going on in the water with some air that's hopefully mixing while it drops into the coconut shell is carried down into the tank where it separates and then the excess water goes up this other hose and drops out and once it fills up which I'm waiting for and then this hose over here will fill up with air which I can then cut a hole in the closed end which I duct tape or like electrical tape shut and see if pressurized air comes out um... I think the tank's about three quarters full of water now so once it fills up it starts spewing out water hopefully air starts building up in this hose we'll see So we got to pumping out, but over here we have water leakage, which means air leakage, which means it's not going to work. So I've got to disassemble and re-tighten my seals, make sure they're snug. This is the part I need to patch up more. Alright, so here's my Trump design failure. Although, I'll just call it a learning experience. So, I was trying to do another method, so, so, so then I need to seal that. I messed it all up anyways, it's a learning process, um, wasting money and experiences and resources and time, it's all good though, uh, I think from my failure I have come up with a new design, yes I have, I believe, I haven't seen this on the internet anywhere, it's uh, basically a floating trump, uh, my plan is to this is the stream coming in, a pond, uh, the hose coming from up above about, you know, however many feet you have it running downwards on the hill. It's the air out kind of container. Sorry, it's not the best. Um, yeah, and then basically, you know, that's the pond and that's the whole system is right there. So here's like the inside view. can't see this for shit. So, you got the air coming out, the water going in, and basically these, I have a weight at the bottom on this other model. I put tie bricks to the bottom of it. And the weight holds it down. I need to calculate exactly how much, but see that hole right there? And that kind of notch I made in the bottom of that one is in case that it gets too um, too much air in there. It's like the release valve or escape, so it doesn't flip the whole unit over and like sink or whatever, cause problems. So that's basically it. And then the water just floats out the bottom. And when it gets pushed out because there's air pressure being built up with the compressed air. It seems to be pretty simple, and I like it, so I'm going to try building it. This is just various methods of uh, taking the air into the water, putting 
straws into the hose basically. <sighs> so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna try building that. Should be easier than trying to build an airtight container, which is what I was trying to do. Which you know, as you see in my other video, was difficult just because I didn't have exact fittings and stuff. If I would have done this first, it might have been better, but. Still, I had to cut it in half, which then I tried to put it back together, which was a bunch of work. Trying to, like, shave off the edges so I could slip them over each other. But I gave up with that, because that was a pain in the ass and wasn't working. So I was just sitting here eating bananas and watermelon and enjoying life. And realized this idea. Jotted it down, and now I am sharing it with you guys. Hopefully I have a working model soon. See you. See you later. Eat bananas. Later finger bananas. Tastiest thing in the whole universe. The ship's gonna sink. We have yet another failure. The Trump is sinking. Kill the water. We've got a leak. It's an air leak. Our other side is good. If you can see, I don't know. It's submerged and not bubbling. Over here we've got bubbles. It's not good. Another Trump failure with the floating or submerged Trump method. Damn. If that's not waterproof, I could be like blue. <laughs> so, I don't know, you can't really see much, but I just put the, these two fittings onto this water bottle. And, you know, just filled it up with water. And I got a leak. So, I gotta fix that. Uh, and I gotta figure out some other things I realized, you know, since I don't have a return pipe I have an open bottom The only thing That is causing the air pressure then is The bottom of the container Or the water being pushed out So, I don't know the math, but I think the amount of water that's being displaced is then going to cause the pressure of the air and I don't know it seems like it's gonna be different math because this is like height and then now I'm gonna have like volume if it's still height then it's not not a good method at all because it'll only be like only like one or two feet on this should be like one PSI at the most. Well, you know, theoretically make a big one like six feet, but then if that's only three PSI, that's not good either. Seems like it would be more for, to me for some reason, but I gotta do math and research. Dun dun dun. Another experiment failure with the Trump. Don't laugh at me. See what happens. 